guys Ashley Elizabeth here with AHM Artistry and I want to give you a quick update video on some of the products that I was trying so I showed you these products in my platinum hair video for maintenance and I want to tell you exactly how I liked them this is from Schwarzkopf and it is the blonde me line keratin restore bonding and it is sulfate free so they reformulated these a few months ago so they replaced their other blonde me line so it's been about three or four weeks as you can tell from my regrowth and I think that's a pretty fair bet to say pretty much how they perform so far how they're going would I recommend them to you and so forth and this specific shampoo and conditioner is for all blonde so there's no toning aspect in either of the shampoo or the conditioner so know that um, it's just basically I'll read it to you this sulfate free shampoo complements and maintains the salon bonding service it creates new bonds while giving multi-dimensional shine and la 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 first of all all these products smell uh freaking amazing like oh it smells so good uh we don't want to only buy because it smells good right we want it to perform well so it is a sulfate free shampoo and what i can say is your preconceived notions are of sulfate free shampoos this probably has it it did not lather up at all a lot of companies that have sulfate free shampoos have found different ingredients that will still lather and give a really clean feeling now i will to be a hundred percent honest my opinion say that this didn't feel like it cleaned my hair very well a little bit about my hair in case you didn't know i try to go at least i would say five days in between washes because it helps my hair to be healthier my hair is on the drier side since it is bleached out and it just doesn't need it so i can do dry shampoo on like the fourth and fifth day or something and throw it up and do it cute but the first two days this is the second day hair i can leave it down however with this one i had to use dry shampoo today because i felt like i was looking a little bit greasy on top which is very weird for me and maybe it's just more hydrated and that's great but I like to go as long as I can in between shampoos. So I do shampoo my hair twice because I go so long in between shampoos. But with this, I was shampooing it twice, but I was probably only getting about three days of in between, which may not sound like a big deal if you wash your hair more frequently, but it may be a big deal if you wash your hair more frequently because it could maybe be too maybe moisturizing or leave a residue i don't know what it was maybe it's because it didn't suds up enough so what i did was i used this shampoo left it on for the minute as i always do because then it gives the product a chance to work in and kind of break up any kind of dirt and oil and then i rinse out and then what i have to do every single time is go in with my purple toning shampoo from, from the same line schwarzkopf it is their so silver shampoo and it is glorious it's not sulfate free though which is odd but it is amazing at toning. So I would do that in this. And then, I mean, like I said, the last three or four weeks, my hair definitely hasn't been able to go as long in between washes. So, you know, take with that what you will. That might not be a deal breaker for some people. It did feel super moisturizing and it is super shiny, as you can see. Definitely has a lot of shine. So I love that. Now the daily conditioner, the first two weeks I was using it every other wash and it is super duper nice. I love the conditioner, detangling, moisturizing, as, you, as I just said, all that shine and the smell is amazing. So love that for all blondes. And then with the in-between washes, so every other wash, I would alternate between that conditioner and then the bonding mask. And this mask is specifically for cool shade blondes or people that want their blonde to be more on the cool side. And so basically what that means, it's a lab lavender tone. As I said in my other video, I really need to really make sure I cut out the yellow because my hair really grabs back to that yellow. Maybe it's minerals in my water. Maybe it's just my hair type. I don't know. I want to keep it as white silver as I can. So I really, really liked this cool blonde mask because it is subtle. So about once a week, I use that super intense purple one from Matrix, but then this one was really nice at, I just felt like it was really repairing and really moisturizing. My hair felt super soft after, and again, really shiny, and it was very gentle toning. So I could leave this on for a few minutes and not be worried that I just turned myself total purple lavender. This one was really nice. So you can see like a lavender, really pretty, and your hair doesn't grab too much of it unless you're super porous, of course, but I was very happy with that, happy with the moisturizing aspect and everything. So if you are looking to cut out any kind of yellow tones or you're trying to maintain your platinum, I would say out of all three of these products, this one was my favorite because I already have some other ones 
and I didn't have anything that did it this subtly, but still made a difference. Does that make sense? It's weird. My other ones are really super pigmented. I would compare this one to Voila almost, but it's more subtle than Voila, and the conditioning aspect of it was way better. This one, I actually felt like my hair was softer, sleeker, shinier, and everything. I didn't show this one specifically to you guys in the last video. However, I did show you the original packaging, I believe. I think this is just the new packaging of the other one that I had, the Cool Blondes. And this is Tone Enhancing Spray Conditioner. That's the other one that I said had the different shades that you could do like pink and teal and everything. But because it says it's the same way, spray in dry or damp hair and then blow dry in. So even if you do it on dry hair, you blow dry in. My only complaint with this is the way it sprays. Now these do look really cool if you want to be that super duper silvery for just like a few washes because it like really looks pretty. It is like a gray silver, really cool. So it doesn't turn lavender on me. It for me, it just turns gray silver and it is really pretty. So that's basically it. Just a quick recap. It smells really good. It hydrates really well. It's super repairing as far as I can tell. It's only been three weeks, of course, but my hair is super duper shiny. The only one I didn't absolutely love was the shampoo. And that, if you're used to shampoos that don't really lather, that's fine. I kind of am, but it just really didn't. Like it just really didn't lather. It was weird. And usually it's fine because I do two washes, but it really didn't, didn't feel like clean enough, which is very odd. So that's my only caveat that my opinion is. So base it off of what you like and go from there. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. And before you go down and click on another video, click on my subscribe button, please. I appreciate it so much. And if you tap that bell, you'll get notified too when I post a new video. So you get it first. You guys have a great, lovely day. Did I have lipstick on my tooth the whole time? <laughs>